Welcome to Global Defense. The U.S. Army's new radar system successfully guided a Navy Standard Missile 6 to intercept a target during Valiant Shield 24 in the Indo-Pacific. This test, which included both physical hardware and simulations, demonstrated the integration of the Army's LTAMDS simulator and the Navy's SM-6 missile with the Integrated Battle Command System, IBCS. The successful interception illustrates the Pentagon's goal for inter-service operations and confirms the effectiveness of using the SM-6 missile within the Army's integrated air and missile defense architecture. The Army plans further assessments of LTS, leading to its integration into their future air and missile defense systems. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications. Um, share this with others who are interested in global defense advancements. Welcome to Global Defense. India plans to modernize its Su-30 MKI fighter jets with a $7.5 billion upgrade, incorporating advanced radars, avionics, and weapons while excluding engine enhancements. This effort aims to sustain 84 jets' operational viability for 30 years, uh, critical due to the IAF's reduced fighter squadrons. The upgrades will feature ASA radars and manned-unmanned teaming capabilities, nearly achieving fifth-generation standards. The choice to forgo engine upgrades is influenced by logistical and financial concerns, alongside Russia's current constraints from the Ukraine conflict. This comprehensive modernization is vital as the IAF faces increased demands due to the phased retirement of MiG-21 Bisons, emphasizing the need to enhance the capabilities of its existing fleet. The plan, spanning approximately 15 years, will ensure the upgraded jets maintain a significant edge in modern air combat. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and share with others. Welcome to Global Defense. India has inaugurated INS Jatayu, a new naval base on Minikoy Island in the Lakshadweep archipelago. Located near the Maldives, this base is critical for enhancing maritime security and surveillance in the Indian Ocean. The opening comes as India navigates tense relations with the Maldives, which is shifting its allegiance towards China under President Mohamed Muizu. This pivot includes a request for the withdrawal of nearly 80 Indian troops stationed in the Maldives. ENS Jatayu, India's most remote base on its western coast, will boost New Delhi's capacity for monitoring maritime traffic. Additionally, the Indian Navy has commissioned a squadron of American MH-60R Seahawk helicopters to augment surveillance and anti-submarine warfare capabilities. As the Maldives signs new military agreements with Beijing, India's strategic efforts with INS Jatayu aim to maintain regional stability and secure important maritime routes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated. Share this with others. Welcome to Global Defense. The Philippines will continue asserting its South China Sea rights after a provisional arrangement with China regarding resupply missions to the contested Second Thomas Shoal. Details of the arrangement remain undisclosed, but Manila stated it will not compromise national positions. Aimed at de-escalating tensions peacefully, the Philippines expects China to act in good faith. China confirmed the temporary agreement, agreeing to jointly manage maritime differences. However, China reiterated its demand for the removal of the grounded warship Sierra Madre from the shoal. China will allow resupply missions for essentials if prior notice is given and on-site verification conducted. The U.S. welcomed these diplomatic efforts, emphasizing the need for China to cease destabilizing activities around the shoal. The Philippines maintains that its resupply missions are lawful and do not require prior notification to China, 